this tutorial by using Sculpt Gel to get the skin texture that I wanted, mixing equal parts of A, B, and C. Now I ended up using a lot more than I showed here because I ended up filling my entire cheek. I used a palette knife to place the Sculpt Gel onto my skin, and I scooped up a little bit of the gel and applied more pressure to one side of the knife in order to push the gel out and create that lip of skin. I blended the edges out for a smoother transition into my skin. Now I didn't really have a plan of what I wanted to do, so I winged it this entire video. <laughs> I put some gel in the middle of the bigger cuts to add a little bit of texture, and I continued making different sized cuts along my entire cheek and on my nose and chin. Next I'm using a little bit of Vaseline on my finger to completely smooth out the edges and to get rid of any bumpiness. Going back with the palette knife to redefine some of the cuts. And I also put a little bit of Vaseline in my hair to hold the loose strands back. After the gel dried, I used a latex to coat the entire thing to give it a little more strength. Next I used translucent powder all over to get rid of the shine. Then I took my foundation color and a sponge and gently dabbed it over the gel to match it to my skin. Taking red and black grease paints on a small skinny brush, I outlined the inner part of the gel to define each cut individually. Then I took the purple grease paint on a fluffier brush and blended it onto the top of the gel. I also added it around my eye for a more bruised look. Now taking my favorite alcohol and zombie palette and using the fresh blood tone starting from the edge and dragging it towards the middle. Then using the aged blood color and filling in the remainder of open skin. Next I diluted the fresh blood with a lot of alcohol and brushed it all over the wound. And then I took that red grease paint and blended it on the edges. I used scab blood, running blood, and stage blood for this, and first using the scab blood, I placed that in all of the cuts, focusing the bigger clumps at the edges. I took a sponge and dipped it in runny blood and dabbed it all over. Using a brush, I scooped up more blood into the cuts and then I let it drip down for a more gross and bloodier effect. Then I'm taking the stage blood, aka blood that you won't get sick from swallowing but it tastes like rotten toothpaste, and I put it in the corner of my mouth and on the inner parts of my lips. And that's it.